Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be making instant pot goat biryani. The ingredients we'll need today is one stick of cinnamon, one star anise, two bay leaves, six pieces of cardamom, six pieces of cloves, one teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon black pepper, one and a half tablespoons of salt, uh, long grain basmati rice that's been uh, soaked for about half an hour. Uh, you'll need 500 grams of rice, 500 grams of boneless goat, mm. two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, uh, one large tomato cut into small pieces, um, five red big onions sliced, four of them we're going to be frying, um, six green chilies, 30 grams of coriander leaves, half cup of yogurt, in total you'll need about two cups of water, one tablespoon of ghee, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, five teaspoons of jeffna curry powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, and lastly three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay now that we've seen all the ingredients, uh, let's start prepping the biryani. Okay now we'll get started by starting the instant pot to saute. Let it heat up and then we'll put the oil. Okay, now we need three tablespoons of olive oil. Next, we add in one tablespoon of ghee. Keep it going. Okay, now the oil is heated up. We'll uh, start putting the spices in. One stick of cinnamon, two bay leaves, the black pepper, cloves, star anise. cardamom and the cumin seeds. Let it heat up until you get the aroma come out. Okay, now that there's a beautiful aroma, we're gonna put the coriander leaves in. We're only gonna put half of it now. Now that the coriander is sort of cooked in there, we're gonna put the uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna put the green chilies now. And then we're gonna put the one red onion sliced in. We'll saute it until the onions are golden brown. Now the onion is uh, nice and cooked. We're gonna put the uh, cut tomatoes in. Let the tomatoes cook until they're nice and soft and mushy. Now the tomatoes are all nice and cooked. Okay, now we're gonna put in our seasoning so that's half teaspoon of garam masala powder, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, and five teaspoon jeffna curry powder. And then mix it up nice. All the seasons are Mixed in nice. Now we're gonna put in our boneless goat. Let the meat mix in nice. Lovely, lovely. Now that the meat is mixed in, 
we're gonna put the uh, ginger garlic paste. Two tablespoons. Keep it going. Mix it into the meat knife. And even. Mix the meat in well for about five minutes. The meat's been mixed in for five minutes. Now we're gonna put in the salt. One and a half tablespoons. Mix well. Okay, now we're gonna put half cup of yogurt. And also a half cup of water. Mix it all well. Now put some more coriander leaves. So roughly eight grams. Mix it in. Okay, now we'll just mix this nice and well. And then we'll uh, close the pressure cooker up and set it to pressure. Now we started the pressure cooker, let the pressure build up so the meat and the gravy is nice and cooked. The goat will be nice and tender. In the meantime, we'll uh, fry the, the rest of the red onions, the four large red onions. Okay, now we're gonna start frying the red onions. Um, we're gonna put some canola oil in there. Once it's heated, we'll start frying. The oil is heated up now, so we'll start frying the onions. Let these onions uh, fry until they're golden brown. As you can see, the onion looks done. It looks golden brown. We're gonna take it out. Keep it going. Place it on this plate that's got a paper towel on it so the oil drains. Now it's been pressure cooking for five minutes. We're gonna cancel it. The Instapot has a safety where unless you release the pressure, it won't allow you to open it. So we're gonna release the pressure now. The pressure is all released. We'll open it. We'll see how the uh, gravy is. The goat looks nice and tender. The gravy's got a nice aromatic smell to it. Now it's time to put the pre-soaked basmati rice in. We're using long grain basmati rice now. Mix the rice in with the gravy. So we mixed the rice in with the gravy and then we put the rest of the water so that was three cups of water and then mix it all in. We'll put the last of the coriander leaves which is roughly seven eight grams. 
mix that one in too. Now it's time to repeat the pressure. We're gonna pressure cook it for another five minutes. And right now, the rice should cook inside the goat gravy. Okay, it's been five minutes that it was in pressure cook mode. Now it's done. We're gonna release the pressure. Now all the pressure's released, let's get it uh, inside. As you can see, the rice soaked all the gravy and it's nice and cooked. You can see the um, pieces of goat, nice and tender. It smells beautiful. And now for the last step, the uh, fried onions. We're gonna put them in to the rice and mix them in. fried onions into the biryani rice. The biryani is ready. The rice is cooked. The mutton is nice and tender. And there's a beautiful aroma coming from the, uh, from the biryani rice. It's time to eat. Thank you for watching this video. Please support our channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends and family. Um, by the way, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to everybody.